But I have heard, I have heard that the coolest thing in town for this weekly is actually just like putting a banana onto a manatee and letting it kill itself in order to receive monkeys. And like, even if a monkey wasn't like something that I super loved anyway, and therefore like would really like to have on my squad, that still is just kind of like a cool dynamic to have. I mean, the background sounds are so loud. There's like a bird cricket sound happening right now. It's the loudest thing I've ever heard. So we'll do like an ant because I hate the other guys. Uh, uh, the iguana that we had last time we played actually like was doing stuff. Which isn't, like, insanely surprising, because I already knew iguanas were quite nice. They were quite nice, but I just kind of refuse to use them because of their weak statage. I guess they have to face against a very specific type of person in order to be super cool, but it was doing stuff last time up until we, like, up and sold it. Loose gibbons, underwhelming pronks, huge pillocks. Wow, they really said the three words that I don't understand even after I've been told what they mean and I have to choose one of them. Some huge gibbons, then? We're just that. <laughs> Reload immediately speaking. Well, that's not off to a very good start, is it? So the goal is we're going to put a banana onto a manatee. They will give us these two things. This, I swear it, because I threatened the developers before the stream started. So theoretically, should my threat go through, that should be how this functions. I will commit to nothing, and therefore this is basically just that. I will take the duck because he has high statage. What is a pillock? I don't know. Doesn't it sound like a bird or something? Gibbons, pillocks, and the other option they gave me, I just never, I don't know what they are, so I never choose them. And they just said, well, freaking bet that time. Maybe because I threatened the developers, I guess it kind of is, they're like, fine, we'll give you the things you want to actually win this game, but we're going to make you choose between weird names. I mean, if it's the only power they have in order to get back and beat, then I guess it's like fair. Never heard it before. Same. I don't know if it's freaking British. I don't know what country of origin the people who made the game are from, and if it's like a common phrase there, but I have no idea what it is. To be fair, a lot of these animals that they choose to make the animals of the game are also like vaguely like more special. Like they're not just default animals, they're, they sometimes do like weird ones. Like they've got a bunch of variants on like pie tamarins. There's multiple tamarins, right? I don't even know what a tamarin is before Super Auto Pets, so it's interesting that they chose like two or three of them. So these things represent levels. Um, sadly, they all represent Things I don't really want. I have to freeze all of them because I'm legally obligated to go for level 2s in the early game, but I'm not the most satisfied with my purchase decisions. And I haven't even purchased yet. I've got pre-purchased buyer's remorse. That doesn't really bode well for the store, does it? Unless, of course, your store is the only possible way to buy things, and it's like the only thing that people can buy things from. And also, you have to buy things in order to like not die in war, so... I suppose if you're like a shop owner in those conditions, maybe you can do whatever the hell you want. So we will have to take them. We're going to do a bunch of half levels, which means nothing. Can I have just one actual level? I'm going to do this as well. I'm limiting myself so gosh darn hard in terms of actual good do's by freezing all these sticky do's in the shop. But like, what if I suddenly level all these guys tomorrow and then I have every cool level four in the game? So the situation that went down there was freaking I don't even- that was unfortunate. I would describe it as anything. So many future levels! I thought a tamarind was a type of orange. <laughs> I also know what you're talking about, but at the same time I forget. It's not a cutie. A tangerine? No. There is! There is something with an M in there, isn't there? That's also an orange. Maybe it is tangerine that I'm thinking of, but now, now you've got my head stuck. I feel like it's got an- there's a t there's an orange with the letter on it. Mandarin. But that's not even- Oh, tamarind. Mandarin. That even makes more sense, actually. I'm glad we immediately got to the bottom of that, because it would have bothered me for the age of time. Hello? I will take one, but I actually don't want to use my other levels immediately. Because I could have them tomorrow and get tier fours, which matters more unfortunate situation i saved him to like do this but if the dog is available then like yeah you know how they switched it so that tools no longer like replace the food that's already here like if they give me a lasagna it'll be a third it's still true as well right that if i if i you go to battle and then come back with a frozen lasagna it'll still be one of the default ones right i can't just save it into like five years in the future find the dude that I like and have it like not interrupt my shop. I think it interrupts my shop pretty quickly. This is a bearded magician. I don't remember seeing a bearded magician in the list of people that I ranked last time we played. 
Is he a butler? That's not the head he had. Are you able to customize what hair your dudes have? That's a lot more customizable than I expected. Or there's secret dudes that they're hiding from me. But what's the benefit of that? So that I don't freaking rag on them or something? I mean, I suppose. These are both very much things I like more than this situation. They're really telling me that I've got two slugs now, so why should you go summons? But, but, while summoning is cool and all that jazz, and having two slugs followed by a turkey would be like god tier, I am doing the monkey manatee concept if they give me the option. Little, little asterisk on that. And if I go scaling, I don't think I really want to be going summons as well. That's kind of nice to have both, I guess. You don't actually need to be here, you just kind of were here for this one thing that happened. You know what? I'm gonna actually run the cuttlefish. I like rag on him so hard because he's like not good, but here he is being amazing on my squad. He's amazing because he's on the squad and I have to have confidence now or else like if I don't have confidence, he won't have confidence. And if he doesn't have confidence, he won't do anything. He's got eight attack. At the very least, he should kill like one dude. You just give one. It's gonna put it on the giraffe. I was gonna say this complete garbage. I guess he has a two additional attack now, so that was less garbage than it could have been. No, if he just had just died, like, mm, there was no way for that to happen. But what if he just simply had, though? So lasagna matters. And of this squad, this guy is the most mattering. What does this man do? More people as he levels? That's not shabby in terms of getting rid of stuff, which I guess is just melon and bananas. Bananas are in the weekly and he could get rid of them. I don't know if anti-monkey technology is really like the strongest tool we could pull out of the box there, but it's still kind of cool. The ants? Mm, I wish so bad that you could just be dead in the shop so I could have those things. I wish that someone could murder you. Like, if not pills, can at least- can a manatee inflict his own damage onto this ants so that I can keep this permanently? I'm gonna do this guy because he's obviously so much cooler. But now I want a toy, so I gotta sell this guy. Okay, our beginning squad is fully established as being not what's happening anymore. Which is chill, because theoretically what I'm doing is meant to be getting stronger. I love scaling. I'm not sure if a plus one plus one is the way to go when I could have two hedgehogs, but then you would say, what are you gonna do with two hedgehogs? Kill your other hedgehog with your first hedgehog? And I'm like, well, yeah. But theoretically, the enemy would also be injured in this equation. It's not like a one-directional thing I'm doing there. That sucked. That is not worth- You know what I just realized? Cuttlefish whatever is putting his stuff on the backline unit. The reason he must be like a tier 3. Is he a tier 4? Because if he is, unjust. Unjust? Completely unjust. I don't care about the last guy. The last guy in everyone's team tends to be the weakest dude anyway. What do I care if he's got like negative 3 health or whatever? I want you to hit the first guy, or if anything, the second to mid-level guy. I, I'm chill with giving him actual things because I do think he matters, and you know what? You're immediately not as good as him, but I guess he has to go here because I don't want him to just straight up die. He wouldn't die. That is true. He would actually immediately die. I do realize that I confused Squid and Cuttlefish's ability. I thought the Cuttlefish required trumpets. It was this guy. Um, they look too similar. Why? Because they're vaguely similar colors. Okay. Nobody matters about having this. So here you go, bird. I don't think there's pineapples today. So he has nothing better to do with his time besides he'd like a pie. Birds are known to steal pies out of people's hands, I'm pretty sure. So if anything, this is like natural. This is natural that I give him this. You have a bee on a guy. That's almost what I'm trying to do. The lame thing about the manatee dying to get the monkey, though, is that it takes the manatee like 15 years to die, right? At least three. I guess he's giving stats while he does it, but I would very much like to see this earlier. And unfortunately, the squad- There he is! Okay, when do I get a banana? I could get a banana tomorrow. It could happen immediately speaking. You may have this. We are scaling you. Why? Because it's the only thing we have here. A skunk? Because amazing. Give me one. Mm -hmm. Today? Mm -hmm. Double dude. Okay. We're gonna have one strong hawk, which immediately speaking, I was like, you're probably not the coolest guy. Actually, I should be scaling the skunk more. However, now that the hunk is actually gonna be level two, because I've got the thing frozen, maybe he'll stick around longer than the one turn I normally keep a hawk in, which is just like, here, shoot once. Okay, yeet. I've got cooler things to do than you, my bird. Yes? No, it's it was almost exactly time. 
This this back dude was like one away from surviving for like one turn, which would have just been the chillest thing. Yeah, this guy takes like three turns to die. These guys also definitely seem cooler. Unfortunately, we can't scale this man's damage. Oh, wait. I don't know what's wrong with my brain. I thought this guy's ability was based off of how much attack he had. Is that how that used to be? And now it's just three straight up? I mean, if it's just three straight up, then I could do that immediately. I wanted to buy the soup and I don't have enough money. I want to buy all these things and I have no money. Mm. I would save you. And in fact, by would, I mean I am. Here we go. Uh, I don't want to. I, someone's got to get sold. And I'm thinking he's going to get sold. But if nothing else, I could replace him with his own cousin, you know? At least I'm keeping it in the family, whether or not it's also, like, tragic to be the cousin of the guy who just got thrown out so that you could replace him and you had to live with the fact that you did that. Like, that sounds emotionally quite tumultuous. Tumultuous? Can't say words. They're difficult. You can't blame me. English is, like, lame and stuff. So you're finally gonna die, which means the monkey is happening, which doesn't really matter for the piranha, because apparently that's not how that works, but whatever. You replace the things in the shop good point i think i'm cool with not doing that in exchange for doing this as well as the octopus i guess we have a lot of things happening here do i want this guy to hit that guy i guess from here on out we're going to be scaling the piranha so there's not like a whole point to like trying to switch up both of these guys like i think committing to one dude being strong is better than like half and halving the situation and now it's all about the chocolate, because I'm not waiting another three turns for a second manatee to explode. So this one can die in Shirio, immediate monkey, with, like, equal stats to how much that guy had. Like, he switched one of his healths and attacks, and that's fine, but, like, that's basically the same dude. He certainly doesn't have to be in the middle of the squad, but I guess the first two dudes I have are the only ones who matter, so the last three can just do whatever they want. Beautiful murder. Delightful and perfect. I was here ragging his placement. His placement was God. God himself, being me, placed him there, and it was so freaking right. I don't know if I need this much scaling, if I could have two additional monkeys. Putting a banana on this guy seems like such a moral waste, but it- mm, but also. All fours, right? Okay, they are all fours. If I sell this, this works immediately. I mean, it was gonna work immediately either way, but now I've sold that, so I can, I guess, feel like that mattered at all. I like this guy, but like, behind who? Him? Well, actually, now that you say that, yes. I don't know how you thought that. And we've got monkey on monkey action. Everyone loves that. Everyone's favorite thing more than monkey? Having two monkeys. What's better than two monkeys? 27 monkeys, you know? It, it really escalates pretty quickly. Beautiful, thank you for the weakness. That was so much cooler than like, I wouldn't have been able to do things very good. This was only a hindrance for their own team. I'm so sorry, people. They didn't think far enough. Turn my light up earlier. The night sky is slowly darkening in front of my face, and I just gotta keep track of it with this light bulb I've got here. Okay, concept. Tiger. Behind this man. He gives everybody, like, plus three, like, once. Every time he gets hit, notification. The idea of the monkeys, of monkeys is 12. Is that how many monkeys fits in a barrel? Because in terms of a barrel load, I would think that was approximately correct, yes. But I can't do this and give everyone billions of tack because I don't have to sell one of these guys. And I love these guys. That one's a bird. This guy's got stripes. Stripes are cool and slimming, so you can't get rid of that man. How about everyone just have some health and... This could actually be kind of cool on him. He's already doing nine. Scaling. Are there foods to go with this person? Just soup? If I got this cat and ran just soup, would that be like a suave number? I'm actually a poser. I've never seen 12 monkeys. You don't have to see it to understand it. I never saw the Great Wars, but I learned about them and could say some things about them from schooling, you know? So you can just know in your heart that 12 monkeys fits in a barrel. I don't blame you for that. I would never blame you for that. I just, I want, I just love the cats so much. It's probably a waste of my very own time. You may have this, but who am I going to sell if I get this cat? The skunk or the bird? I apologize to all birds in the game, which lose all of their names because there's too many of them, so they're just only bird or that one. Bird or the specific piranha. I think he's so worth, though. This guy's surviving. He's got the pie combination to go with it, which just also seems amazing. You could be here. That doesn't change my conundrum. I just think reducing health is so good. 
But what's the opposite of reducing health? It's giving my own self more health. Um, I actually still want you to be here. Do I? Yes. Well, mm, I want you to have this either direction. Please give me food that's not salad now. Food that is not salad and also actually scales. I'd like to clarify that point. Oh, I like how they match. They got the little froggy girl mascot and they go within this like acid world. Which makes her seem kind of like a mutant ninja frog, I guess, but the coloration is beautiful. Her hair matches the background. She falls on the ground when she gets sad. That is so sad. We didn't even need to summon our extra monkey. We were losing so extremely bad, but this is where everything turns around, when we have freaking more piranhas. He's god. Or is like the best dude in the whole team. I've only been here 10 minutes, but the commentary is caught as I hoped. <laughs> I mean, the videos are like straight up from the stream, so it's about it's about what you get, you know? I guess it depends on the mood. The boar... In my hand, imagine there's a boar in my hand, and I would like smash him, but you can't because he's God. He's just the strongest dude in the entire game, but... I would say maybe it's too late for that, but also like it's never too late for the boar. He always pulls out wins. It's too late though, I'd have to give up my cat for it, and I refuse. I just got him. Okay, everything sucks because we're doing these things. A salad? To them, th oh, it was the worst thing I could have bought and it went to the two guys who don't matter. I guess they're getting a little bit of attack. Hit me, but do damage. Okay. You know what? Yeah, keep hitting him. Oh, he, he died really quick. You killed my bird! Oh, it's it's really stinky. No, it, it was- it was- it felt like it might have been less stinky for like one second there, but it was still really stinky. How many lives do I have? One? Mm. And a dream. Can I have a single? Scaling. Yes. Thank you. That's all I needed. Now I can sell my cat for a cow, but I won't because I refuse. I was looking more food. They did not give it to me. I suppose we're doing more cat. I, I definitely don't think that having additional cats is usually ever the way because I just spend all my money buying more cats and not buying more food. You could argue that I shouldn't have bought the cat to begin with because there's not that much food here. Is this good for us? Okay, time for this bird to prove to me that they should be behind the piranha instead. Whoa, that barely survived. It, then it died. Was that worth it? It was kind of worth it this one time, but I'm not sure if logistically it's actually the answer. Who do you like for? He's behind his own brethren right now, which I feel like sounds like a correct... This is gonna do 8-8. Eight, eight to you. You continue to be the best guy who matters? Yes, but... Mm, yes? Oh my god, yes, but please give me food to eat. This is a 3-3. Three, three. This is a chili. I don't think this chili is going to be the name breaker here, but um, we have one health. Simply don't die within three hits, Piranha. It's so easy. Just like carry the rest of the team. That was the opposite. The skunk is the best. I sold my skunk because I think he's boring, but he is like the best game. He is the best guy in the game. Maybe extra melons to the fish. Maybe boop. Yeah, but I was thinking like, mm, that makes sense. <laughs> I- <laughs> Never mind. No, it's retrospectively a grand idea. I just thought that birds on birds, you know, like... I thought the bird uniting like a synergy system might work there, but it didn't work as well as I had thought. Honestly, at the point in which the piranha was better than the bird in terms of all of his stats, I definitely should have moved that. You're correct.